Hi you guys, my name is Sharita. Oh, welcome to my channel. <laughs> Today, I didn't think I was going to make a video. I did not think today was a day to make a video. But here I am. All right, so here's the thing. Um, we're going to be doing a reaction video. But like, kind of. I already watched the video, but it got to the point where I was like, I'm not taking notes. We're just going to watch the video and we're going to talk about it together. So... The video that we're going to be talking about is Trisha Paytas being like, Jeffrey and Star is so mean to me. That's the video we're going to be watching today. So if you're interested in this video, go ahead and keep watching before we get started. Make sure you click subscribe for new content whenever I post. And also do not forget to click the notification bell so that you are notified every single time that I post a video. Okay, so here's the thing. I am going to be putting on makeup just because I'm ugly right now. So I'm going to be putting on makeup whilst watching this girl literally just like have a breakdown. But we're going to talk about said breakdown. So here we go. You know what these are? And I don't, normally don't like to speak up on them. Okay, so this is... Hair by Jay. That Jeffrey's actually a nice person. Oh, Jeffrey's nice. They're taking advantage that Jeffrey's not about airing people out anymore. Oh, he's not about airing okay. people out. That he's not about airing people out anymore. So Jeffrey's not about airing people out, but like if you don't if you don't remember, like not even what a couple months ago when his ex boyfriend Andre Marhold decided to break up with him he was like Andre stole from me is that not airing people out or like am I confused am I confused about that because that doesn't seem like a very nice thing to do he's lucky he's a nice person how are you gonna talk about a person after you got in a private jet that was paid for you to spend a dime okay your room was paid for. He paid for the fucking concert to go see Mariah Carey front row. I sat next to you for the food for the restaurant. And you're right, bitch. You were such a boring time. You were such a boring time. You were so boring. negative. Negative. I remember he even checked in, like, you know, what is wrong with you, bro? We're trying to make you feel better. But she was like, um, we were like, hey, we have to leave by 9 o'clock, it's 7 o'clock, like, I'll put Trisha's way first. And Trisha, okay, hey, we're oh, talking no, about Trisha. You don't have time for my, I literally will go out like this, I don't care, like, you know, I'm, yeah. fine. I'm perfectly fine. Like, Five, like, four, four, three, two, <laughs> welcome. I don't, I don't know what's going on. He's getting his hair done. First of all, homegirl is slaying those braids. He's so lucky he does not air this bitch out. Airing Trisha out? Oh. You know what's the, what's the problem? What's the problem? Because people get upset when they have something good. Good. And then they do something stupid. Stupid. We talked about your skin, bitch. Your Her skin. skin yeah. looks like shit till this day a whole year later, bitch. Oh, oh we're talking about skin. Oh, we're talking about skin. She okay. paid me to view. For two weeks, she said that. Look, look, look at this stupid dumb bitch. She said, she said she's saying, I'm going to play it again. This stupid, dumb, worst looking ass bitch. Maybe she should go on a fucking dog. Oh, she's all right. Maybe all that fat and fucking ass. Her fucking brain. All right? Oh, and now he's <laughs> mocking her crying. Oh, 
we, I thought we were friends. I thought we were cool. We should have talked about it. Now that shit, let me tell you something. Oh, he's going to tell her something. Let me tell you something. He's going to tell her something. Walrus. Walrus. Oh, she's a walrus. Yes. Sorry, I was ranting on this bitch. Let me tell you something, you stupid walrus looking ass. It's world. stupid walrus. Okay. Beach. <laughs> Oh, I think Trisha's crying now. Do you know what pisses me off? What pisses you off? He liked her. He liked her. How much a person was so made her feel uncomfortable, was so negative to her. But afterwards, bitch, don't forget to say, but. But? Got to fly to Vegas because that person paid for a fucking shit. Oh. Left in a motherfucking room. Okay. Because that person paid for my sweet. I went to go see Mariah Carey first fucking uh, bro. Because that first, first room. To go see her. To, okay. He paid for the car services. The car so services. I was watching the full ah, okay. video. I saw me and my vlog channel. How I just saw like, a clip of this guy. Like, Tell me, Trish. Jeffree Star's like, wig guy. And also his friend. He his wig guy and his me, friend. Like, okay. Just a few days ago. Like, they're, they're the type of people that were being. So awful to me on this Vegas trip a year ago. Okay, and yeah. Watching this is so triggering for so many reasons. Like I'm actually shaking. This one. No, your feelings are valid, Trish. I did it three seven times, which really ended up in a mental hospital. What? Oh, <gasps> baby girl. And the fact that Jeffrey and him and Boom and all those people like talk and mock about this stuff, and it's like makes me shake. And it is disgusting. I see. <laughs> like Rylan boasting about him, boasting how great Jeffrey is and everything. Like he's an actual monster and trying to keep it in for so long. But this is the kind of mean shit, mean girl behavior. He admits to talking shit about my skin. <laughs> now, baby girl, here's the thing. There's been a lot of people that have been talking about Jeffree Star. A lot of people have been saying that, like, he talks nasty things about people. But, like, where were you when, first of all, we'll get there later. But, baby girl, where were you when he was talking all this mess about, you know, people? Sorry people and um now you're upset because this J guy which sorry you knew he was trash because I mean you're the company you keep so you knew how Jeffrey was so you knew how this J guy was so I don't understand like why you're so upset knowing what you knew now here's the thing I'm not gonna sit here and invalidate Trisha's feelings I'm not going to do that We'll get there later. I'm not going to invalidate Trisha's feelings. But where were you when Jeffrey was being this trash person to everybody else? Huh? Where were you? Oh, you were being his friend. That's right. Because he's so nice to you. Just like Jay said, he's so nice. You're so lucky. Je Jeffrey's nice because, like, if Jeffrey wasn't nice, he could just air everybody out and, like, uh, <gasps> Jeffrey's just such a nice person. Because there were way more serious issues regarding Jeffrey and stuff, and I really didn't want to be that person to be, like, you know, he's an awful person or whatever, but they were, like, awful. No, going aside from the wig stuff, you know, he does show that he said, oh, Jeffrey's pure, or whatever, like, in the, like, the wig stuff, but the fact that, like, these are the, this is the kind of people, and, like, seeing it, it's, like, seeing it out there all over your head is, like, so triggering, and I know he'll, like, make fun of this, and that I'm a walrus, and then, like, <laughs> go killing this one, but it's just, like, insane to me, insane to me that people, come on, breathe, goes on in the video to say, like, the house I live in now is rented. I never said I owned it. Girl, I know my thing about your house. That's their, that was their mean girl stuff that I couldn't afford stuff that they threw in Balenciaga and the trash that they gave away and begged to Rich Lux that they wouldn't give me my camera. Like, there were so many worse things going on. And he's like, you were aborting time and all this shit <laughs> just because I didn't want to come out. He doesn't show the DMs. I said prior asking how much the freaking wings are to go into this. It's like so, it's so triggering. <laughs> and like, I... I just don't want to like hide behind this anymore. Like these videos, like just. 
Okay. I don't know if y'all understood, but like, I didn't really understand what she was trying to say. But like, basically she's like, Jeffrey was mean to everybody and called everybody poor, but like I remained his friend because like it would be beneficial to me. I mean, I don't know if that's what you heard, but that's literally what I just heard. So now let's listen to Jay, who like, you're the company you keep. So Jay, you hang out with Jeffrey, so let's hear what you have to say. You must see her. She came for the car service. Okay. I got to get the f on my fucking ass and fuck all your disfigured ass pussy and disfigured ass titties. Ooh, ooh. Oh, we're talking about disfigurement. Because the person actually invited me. I want to say also, for the record, like, I was thankful and grateful that he invited me. I was like, excited until he wasn't excited anymore, which is why I went home. I offered to pay his assistant money for the hotel room. I had no interest in seeing Mariah Carey. They didn't even get us tickets. They got me and Jay tickets last minute because they're like, oh, fuck. Which is nice, right? I didn't want any of it. I didn't ask for any of it. And they offered to pay for the room. I offered to put money towards the jet. I did all this. <laughs> and it just, like, the fact that the, that's what, like, Jeffrey has to hold over people. It's like, I paid for all this shit and stuff like that. It's so disgusting. And Is that new news? The fact that, like, all of this, I already knew from, like, reaching for a nacho and Jeffrey slapping my hand and saying, don't eat. And, like, just constantly, like, if I ask for oh, so like, you called price, you fat. Like, why are you asking for prices? Like, it's just insane to me. It's insane to me that there's people like this. And the fact that, like, Jeffrey's, like... This BFF that like just he's ride or die for, and he, you know all of this, you know all of this is coming. That they talk shit about me, and it's so, mm -hmm. it's like so triggering because I do, I am insecure. He constantly tells me about it. I'm so insecure about my skin and, and my weight. And oh yeah, I don't make it up in here all the fucking time. But I'm like just renting my house, just mean, petty, mean girl shit. Jeffrey, Jeffrey done talked about people to you. Pete, Jeffrey done talked about Manny, he done talked about Laura, he done talked about Nikki, he done talked about everybody. But because he was confiding in you, Trisha, you were like, oh my God, I must be friends with him. But here's the thing, if they talk about you, um, if they talk about friends to you, the hell you think they talking about everybody else? So you allow Jeffrey to talk about people knowing who he is, but now because he's talking about you, now you're scared. You are complacent, Trisha Paytas. You allowed this man to talk about people. You allowed this man to be who he is. So now you're afraid of Jeffrey and Jay. So I'm supposed to feel bad for you because you allow, you became friends with the people that Jeffrey associates with. We're supposed to feel bad for you? Nah. Because you know what Jeffree Star says and does. You're his friend. You know what he does. You know what he says. So how are we supposed to feel bad? Because now that you're the one in the hot seat, and I like I don't know what triggered this. I guess like Jay like talking about you triggered this. But here's the thing: Jay is Jeffrey's friend. You're the company you keep. When somebody shows you who they are, you should believe them. Why do you think Jeffrey hangs out with the people that he hangs out with? Why do you think that, Trisha? Person and about people. A whole year later after an event happened, first of all, bitch, I should sue you. Oh. Because when you go to court, right, and you wait a whole year later to 
to sue the person is the fuck what the court looks at you like. Why did you wait nine or twelve months to say something? Now here's the thing. I'm not I'm not for the whole like why did you wait? Why did you wait? Because here's the thing. Like when you are a victim, it's hard to, you know, to be like, well, you know, I should have said from the beginning this, that, and the other. It, it when it comes to any type of abuse, you know, and and especially when a person starts to gain traction, then people start to say, Oh no, 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 I don't want this person to be famous. Because they did this, that, and the other to me. Bill Cosby. Let's take him for example. Bill Cosby was in a like he was like the highest paying actor, black actor, and he's 177 years old. And all of a sudden, all these people come out and they're like, "No, but like he used to treat me this way." So now people are like, "Well, why did you wait so long?" Well, because if I would have said something, y'all wouldn't have believed me. So. This, this is what it is. So I'm not saying that like Trisha's right or wrong for waiting, waiting. Actually, I shouldn't put waiting in quotations, but she, I'm not saying she's wrong for waiting, but I hate that argument. Well, why did you wait so long? Why did you wait so long? Well, because like if I would have said um, Thomas Smith did X, Y, and Z, people would be like, well, Thomas Smith ain't nobody. But like if Thomas Smith became the next Iron Man and I'm like, I told y'all about Iron, I told you about Thomas Smith, then people would be like, oh, well, how come you didn't say something like earlier? Well, I tried to say something, but Thomas Smith didn't mean anything to anybody. So, I mean, I don't, I don't like that argument, but like, Trisha, baby, we gave you time. I waited so long to see something because like that's Shane's friend and I was like I, I was scared like the original DMs that came up between me and this other guy that made an exposed video on Jekyll the guy that hung out with us in Vegas the guy that Tab. came to me with video footage Tab. of them talking shit about me like really horrible nasty shit I was scared I was scared because I know everyone who goes against Jeffrey like it's like canceled like you know all this stuff like that and like Jay and like admits like he beats people's asses and shit and I'm not you know, I was like alone. I was single for a long time and lived alone. And like, I was, I was scared. On top of that, Shane and Rylan continued to be friends with Jeffrey. And I was just trying, I know I told him about all of this. And I was like, you know, I'm not someone's gonna be like, don't be friends with this person because of an experience that happened to me. But I was like trauma, I was traumatized. Like the, when, right when I came home, I like had to tell him. And I just, and he just wanted to see a bio, but I'm just, and I was just scared that I was just like Shane's friend because they were they were gonna get married like a month later after that trip and I knew he'd probably invite Jeff and I just didn't want to make it awkward and so I just was trying to not say anything all right so here's the thing if Shane were a true friend which he obviously is not you could have been able to tell him about Jeffrey and Shane would have been like look look Trisha I'm with you I support you, blah, blah, blah. But here's the thing. All of y'all, Shane, Jeffrey, Rylan, Trisha, all of y'all don't care about nothing but views and numbers. Y'all ain't friends. Friends where? You guys are not friends. Because if you're worried, now here's the thing. If you're, if you're worried about what a friend is going to say about another friend abusing you, that ain't your friend. That is not your friend. My friends will tell me, hey, Sharita, just to let you know, like, I love you, but, like, you can't do X, Y, and Z around me. Hey, Sharita, you my friend, but, like, mm, that, like, I, I have a friend. She's actually literally one of my best friends. And when I first met her, she had a friend that she had known longer than me. And I didn't like the friend. I did not like the friend. And so I told her, I said, listen, I understand that's your friend, but I don't like her. So guess what my friend did? She would invite me to certain places and then would invite the other friend to certain places. We were never together in the same place at the same time. Because my friend was like, well, both of them are my friends, but like, I'm not trying to like 
And my issue was my issue. So my friend wasn't going to be like, well, I think you should like her because no, my friend was like, all right, well, you don't like her. Well, listen, I'm going to invite her to your, this is not what happened, but she, you know, it was like, well, I'm going to invite her to my wedding, but you can't come. That's my issue. So I don't care that Jeffrey and Shane are friends and you were upset about them being friends. That those are not your friends, Trisha. Those are not your friends. Jeffrey is taking advantage of all of y'all, every single one of you, and you are the company you keep. So Jeffrey being the person that he is, guess, guess what Shane is? And I was so scared and I'm still so scared and that's why I made this video. So at least it's out there because it's like I really do have anxiety over this video. I briefly mentioned it in my vlog that I posted today and so many people were like supportive. Imagine all the people who have tried to come forward. Imagine all those people who have tried to come forward about Jeffrey, but you, Trisha, said nothing. You said nothing when Tab came out because you're like, oh, this guy, Tab, said, said this and that, and I was just so scared. And just... Again, this is a numbers game. This is a numbers game, baby. You, Tab, Manny, Laura, James, y'all are bigger than Jeffrey. Jeffrey ain't nobody. Jeffrey is nobody. Why are you scared? What are you afraid of? Your integrity is forever. But here you are. Well, Jeffrey was nice to me. Well, guess what? Jeffrey ain't nice to the majority of people and you make their feelings invalidated. That's on you, Trisha. That's on you. Prove me wrong. The bitch stays eating. The bitch stays eating. Good thing there's, she lives in California where there's fucking endless amounts of food because if she lived in, every, uh, in any other fucking uh, country where there's poverty, what is it, poverty, where people are starving, this bitch wouldn't eat no food left for the, not even for the animals. Not, okay. not even for the fucking vultures. She'll eat the, so listen, she says, Oh, thank you so much. She's <laughs> <laughs> showing like my company name and stuff like that, which have now been breached. I've had a hack system for my business account. I really didn't understand what was going on with it. And I didn't even realize that until I see all this. Like, then he's showing my company name. It's not out there. <laughs> I mean, that's crappy. I don't I don't really know what's going on, but like apparently she's got some kind of company thing going on. But like, I don't I don't I don't understand like why she's so upset. I don't know how he knows this. She's doing this for y'all to feel bad for her. Now, again, here's the thing. I'm an empath and I genuinely feel for people. Like when I see people cry, I literally cry. But like, not when you bring it on to yourself. Not when you bring it on to yourself. Come on, Miss Paytas. We've been trying to tell you for years that this man ain't for you. Shane ain't for you. Jeffrey ain't for you. None of them are for you. So I'm confused. Why are you so upset? People have been telling you for years. And I do not agree with doxing. And I don't know if that's what she's trying to say. But girl, what makes you think you are any different? <laughs> and he did charge me more. It's $1,500 a week. He charged me more. Oh, we're twice. talking about wigs. Okay. He didn't take off my wig. He told me to go get rubbing alcohol we're down like this hall okay. that he was too busy to do it. He wasn't even doing it. It just is so stupid but like, on all this. It's like, I'm supposed to not, I'm just not having a pit. You guys can talk to all this shit on me. All this shit on me. You brought me on a trip. Jeffrey brought me on a trip to shit on me. And I can't have a say because he paid for it. So he can, they can just do that because you, 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 you are, you pay for a trip. People are allowed to just piss on you in front of my face and behind my back. There's so much video out there. 
Okay, so here's another thing, Trisha. Again, you're friends with Jeffrey. If you know how he treats people and you cannot prove me wrong, you can't prove me wrong. If Jeffrey is out here talking about people behind their backs, what makes you think you are any different? What makes you think you're any different? Now, here's the thing. So I'm going to pull the whole uh, <clears throat> astrology thing. I'm a Scorpio. Me and Jeffrey are literally... And I hate to, I hate to say this, but uh, my birthday is one day and one year from Jeffrey. I know how to be manipulative, but I choose not to be. It's easy to be manipulative. Um, Jeffrey has a, a radiant personality. I get it. However, he's proven time after time after time who he is so I'm confused as to why like Trisha cannot tell me that Jeffrey ain't never talked bad about one of his like Jeffrey remember when Jeffrey was always doing like collabs with like Manny and Laura and James Charles do you remember that I guarantee you he was calling Trisha the day before and being like yeah, I hate James. He's this, he's that. Like, ew, blah, 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 blah. And Trisha was probably eating it up. And then the next day, there'd be a video of James and Jeffrey together. So why would Trisha think that she would be any different? <laughs> this guy that recorded that, they were just, how do you go on a vacation and just shit talk of me the whole time? The same way he talks to everybody. <laughs> I was brushing her hair, all that stuff. Okay, bitch. And on top of that, oh, four thousand dollars for a wig. Okay. Guess what, bitch? You're not paying me a day fee to be, and I still did for her to say, "Hey, he didn't even touch my hair." <laughs> I even specifically said to him that, like, if we don't have time to my wig, it's fine. He mentions it in this thing. I said it's fine because, like, he had told me Jeffrey was paying for the installment, and like, again, I didn't expect any of this. I offered to pay. for towards the private jet I offered to pay towards the hotel like I offered to pay towards everything I didn't ask him to brush my hair or whatever like that me and him got tickets last minute and like I didn't ask for anything I didn't ask for the wigs I didn't like I I even went as far to be like it's fine you don't have to install mine I'll go out like this and he's like making fun of me because I wanted to go out with just my regular hair because I just thought we were running late that was mm -hmm. Jeffrey's glam team Natural like I just I don't problems. care you guys have seen me on vacation I just don't care like it's just this is get your fucking funeral as your bitch ass mother because she's your mother and she feels obligated that she listen she should fucking go to jail she should go to waste to this world for us to have to deal with that's bitches like that is what's fucking consumed not even the vultures <laughs> oh he's mad no bitch i kid you not if they called her right now if jeffrey called her right now or we called her right now, promise you she'd answer tomorrow, she'll come Jeffrey has called me multiple times and I refuse to talk. I, I texted him and said, Jeffrey is manipulative. And that's the crazy thing. Like, <clears throat> like what's his name? Jay said, oh, if, um, if I called her, if Jeffrey called her right now, she'd hang out with us. Of course she would. Trisha is all about views and likes. That girl ain't got no type of real friendships. And... The fact that they take advantage of her um, her mental illness. Now, here's the thing. I'm not here to judge. I'm not here to say what kind of mental illness Trisha has. But Trisha will let you know, like, she's not right in the head, right? And even if you watch, like, her podcast with, um, what's his name? The H3H3 guy. Um, sh she's not right in the head. I mean, hell, I'm not right in the head. But... The thing is, is Jeffrey knows. Jeffrey is manipulative. The fact that Jeffrey knows that she, oh, that was hard. The fact that Jeffrey knows and um, what's his name? That Jay knows. Oh, like if I were to call her right now, 
she, she'd hang out. That's manipulative AF because they know, they know about her. So the problem is, is the whole problem, not really Trisha. Is Trisha some of the problem? Absolutely. But the problem are these manipulative people that take advantage. And what's, is his name Ethan? So D'Angelo Wallace did a video and he was like, at least Ethan, and I'm, I'm using the name Ethan. I don't know if I'm right. But Ethan Klein, I think his name is. D'Angelo said, at least Ethan knows how to like calm Trisha down, how to tame her. Jeffrey and this guy Jay are the opposite. They know how to rile her up. They know what to do and they know how to do it. And they're doing it right now. No, 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 no. Now here's where, um, this is what we're not gonna do. Any money who supports Jeffrey is awful. Um, ma'am, where were you when people were talking about how Jeffrey was an awful person? And what did you say, Trish? What, come on baby girl, what did you say? Well, he, he's such a good friend, he, Oh, so now because it's affecting you, he's now all of a sudden a terrible human being. I mean, not to like toot my own horn, toot toot, but I've been saying this for years. I've been saying that Jeffrey's not a good person. Do people listen to me? I'll give you one guess. No. You are complacent, Trisha. I do not feel sorry for you. Because when, when James Charles was going through his thing, were you there? Nah. When he was talking, when he was being racist towards black makeup gurus, were you there? So why are we supposed to feel sorry for you now? Why? Why are we supposed to feel sorry for you? We don't. So you're not a nasty person, but you um, pretended to have disassociative identity disorder do you not remember that Trisha when you pretended to have DID and the whole community was attacked no you don't remember that of course you don't you don't remember when you did blackface you don't remember when you wrapped the n-word yeah of course of course you don't remember that and that's just as nasty but because it affects you directly now you want us to feel bad for you Oh, baby girl, oh, that's not how it works. Because <laughs> I was cool with Jay. I was cool with him. I never mentioned him by name. I did have an issue with him charging me $1,000 more than wigs normally cost. And it was just out of nowhere when I asked him days and days prior. Girl, don't like, how much that was my issue. And it made me feel kind of some type of way that he only charged me when I got back from the trip. And not beforehand, like he always did, and I always paid him up front. He shows me, I like can't even watch this anymore. Keep watching. <laughs> they said so many worse things while they were at the club without me. Like they're at a club trying to like have fun, and they're talking shit and being so nasty. Of course they were. They talk about everybody. Oh, he's trying to call Trisha. <laughs> Because if her confidence was low, she wouldn't be showing her anchor ass, titanic ass scars that she <laughs> We're not body shaming. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. We're not body shaming. Nope. Not today. She's such a liar. The same way that she said she bought that house. First of all, everybody's. Girl, don't nobody care about that house. When you purchase a house, you're not going to be 
pushes the house, that information is public information the same way. I promise you don't nobody care about that house. The same way marriage you know, information is on the page, right? Yeah. Her, she don't have no house. Don't nobody care about her house. But yeah, I, don't know. I don't know what you're trying to prove. Hello, pink. Hello, kitty. I know she's not asleep. But do you not know that I'm crazy, bitch? Why would you f with the wrong one? Don't mess with the fucking makeup artist. He's nice. Oh, the makeup artist is nice. Bitch, but I'm he gonna ain't. destroy you, bitch. By the time I'm done with you, you're gonna look anorexic. Oh. <laughs> ooh, ooh. We're not body shaming. Well, I can't call her off my phone because this is so good. I'm not kidding when I say I'm like genuinely scared. Oh, you mean when other people are scared of um, I'm just satisfied with the service. That's it. I was nice. I was polite. To who? I've been nice and polite to Jeffrey throughout all his cancellation last year. There it goes. I was nice throughout his cancellation. You know why? Because he was nice to you, Trisha. He was nice to you. And I promise you, you did not care because you were not the one impacted. You were not the one that was impacted. Right now, you're understanding. Now you get it. Jeffrey's not your friend. He'll never be your friend. He was never your friend. And now you want us to feel sorry for you? Nah, the, those of us who knew about Jeffrey, we knew. We knew. And here you are trying to be the damsel in distress. Girl, don't nobody care. Don't nobody care. Because you allowed Jeffrey to treat people the way he did. When Tab, the person that you're talking about, who, who leaked those messages... You were like, oh, no, me and Jeffrey, we worked it out. Tab was out there trying to, to warn people about Jeffrey. Tab made nothing on that video. He gave the video to Sanders. That video is still up on Sanders' page. Yet you, Trisha, allowed Tab to say all that, to say all those true things about Jeffrey and you said nothing except for, well, Jeffrey's my friend. He's my friend. That's my friend. <laughs> I'm sorry. Like, I'm bad. I'm sorry that I rented my house. I'm so hurt and disgusted by all of this. He doxed me. He showed me number. <laughs> my business information. But you were allowed to be the mean girl, Trisha. You were allowed to be the mean girl. You allowed Jeffrey to be the mean girl. Did you not? Show me I'm wrong. Show me I'm wrong. Where you allowed Jeffrey to be the mean girl. Show me where you were never the mean girl. Because when people called you out on your stuff, you and people said, oh, Trisha's being the mean girl. Oh, no, 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 no. And you have a lot of people right now thinking like, oh, is this a publicity stunt? Here's the thing. I I truly believe that Trisha's hurting right now. I 1,000% I believe that Trisha is hurting right now. You can call this a publicity stunt because the last time I talked about Trisha, that's the thing. I don't I don't normally talk about people like her. But the last time I talked about Trisha, her and Nikocado Avocado they they had like planned this whole whatever and like I took Nick's side and blah 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 but it's because Trisha has always been like this this troll and right now people don't know what to believe but here's the thing 
Jeffree Star's, Jeffree Star's trash. Believe what Trisha is saying. This goes, this corroborates everybody's story about Jeffree. That's what this does. I had issues with how Jeffree and Mem treated me. <laughs> but I've never attacked where they came from what they look like. It just, it's, it's given me a massive amount of anxiety. And then when I saw that they featured Jeffrey on Ryland's show, I just lost my shit. And I saw this and I started crumbling. <laughs> this person still gets support. And that, this is how they talk. This is how they talk. And this is how it was. This, this language I heard only on recording. I did not hear it in person. The thing I heard in person was just, oh, why are you asking how much it is? Like, you know, don't eat that. Like that kind of stuff. They dished me for dinner. He did, and he said, Jeff and Pete my meals. They never once invited me to dinner. They, they all walked as fast as they could through while I was constantly ditched. And it's fine. Like to me, I didn't even want to make a video about this because it's just, it's just mean girl behavior. And I'm fucking 32 years old and they're well above 32. Nah, baby. Uh-uh. Don't bring age into this. You're 32. Jeffrey's 35. We have the same age bracket. We, and I'm saying we because I'm in that same age bracket. Baby girl, we in the same age bracket. Don't talk about, oh, they're they're older than me. They're way above me. Um, I don't know how old Shane and Rylan are, but like they might be the same age as you. They might. I don't know. But they're not like 50. And the fact that now you would be like, oh, Rylan and is... You allowed that, Trisha. You allowed it. You allowed it when you decided that whatever Jeffrey did before, like you saw what Jeffrey did, you saw what Jeffrey said, and you continue to be his friend. You are part of the problem. Do you not see that? And now you want to be like, well, Rylan and Shane are still his friend. Yes, because they think the same way that he does. You are the company you keep. I don't know why that is so hard to understand. You are the company you keep. These wings are disgusting, but I don't care. And it's just like, it's just like a lot. It's just very triggering. And I'm just like truly scared. Like, like truly. Because I've never seen someone with so much hatred. I blow up my phone, dox my phone number, dox my... That's my company. <laughs> it's just like these are the people. This is this is Jeffrey talking so much of this stuff. The rented house and I rent my house and I didn't buy it. This is mean girl shit that they made fun of me for. And it's bullshit. And it sucks. What kind of mean girl stuff did you do, Trisha? What kind of mean girl stuff did you do? Because for you to sit here and try to play victim is comical. What kind of mean girl stuff did you do? Now, because Jeffrey is attacking you, which again, honestly, I don't think Jeffrey's really trying to attack you because here's the thing, this happened almost a year ago. And now because Jay, is that his name? Jay is saying something. Now you want to try to play victim. Now you want to try to play victim. I do not agree with him body shaming you. I don't agree with a lot of things that he said. However, what makes you more innocent than anybody else? Why should we feel bad for you? Because people have been saying this whole time how Jeffrey is not a good person. Whoever you associate yourself with, that's who you are. Why should we feel bad for you? That's what I would like to know. Why should we feel bad for you, Trisha? Why? Guy took his video down because the guy we were on the Vegas trip with another guy, not not his paid people, not Boom, not Jay, not his assistant. Tab didn't take his video down. He goes Taylor and not Jeffrey, but like another guy that was just. I'll leave the out. video in the link below. He he had the video. He had my DMs and he had the original DMs with me saying, "I'm mm -hmm. scared of Jeffrey. Don't put this out." <sighs> still... My heart. <laughs> that video is not down. So fast. And I just want to clarify.
clarify one other thing because that's like the main issue I guess that he like really hates me for is the lie thing. I didn't lie. Like I said, I, I don't have my Instagram anymore. My original Instagram is disabled or whatever. I didn't know about that. Um, but I asked him and I would ask like my mom, my sister, anyone. I like, I, would, I asked him so much in advance, like, um, like, what do I owe you? What do I owe you? Like, oh, don't worry. Like Jeffrey's taking care of it. Jeffrey's taking care of it. And then when I like left on my own and not with them, um, that's when he built me like out. So I didn't lie about it. Um, it really was overcharged, and he like he even shows the DMs like Jeffrey take care of the installment did it, and like he, here's the thing like he shows that I paid him seventy five hundred dollars. I paid him forty what was it forty forty five hundred worth of wigs. That's how much he charged for wigs, and then his day rate was like three thousand dollars. And I I paid him, I paid him, and I paid him the day before. I think I paid him beforehand, and I think one was like the day after because I was doing mm-hmm. my music video, but. I pay, like, that's what I really pride myself in, is, like, paying for stuff, and I asked him, and I asked him, and I was, like, hey, like, how much do I owe you, and he, like, wasn't giving me anything back, and he's, like, Jeffrey's taking care of it, and again, I don't expect him to take care of anything, I don't, but it was just, like, when I came back, all of a sudden, he hits me with this, and, like, hey, are you gonna pay this, are you gonna pay this, and it was a Sunday, the next day was a, a holiday, and I do, I do transfer money from my accounts, like, it's not that I'm baller, it's, or it, whatever, it's just, like, I have a financial one, I have a personal one, a business one, and I just, like, wanted to say, like, that's the root of all this, is because I read a comment that's like, well, it's because she, like, lied, and it's like, I I didn't lie about any of that, and I literally, and I didn't care, and I paid it, and I, like, I don't care about that stuff, like, I'd rather just face up and move on, but, like, to say that I, I don't deserve, like, someone pays for a trip for me, and I shit on them, it's like, I didn't, I was being really, like, I just just, my Am I supposed to feel bad for her right now? But like, I, like, I just, I've never had so much, like, hate her towards me or just yes, any of this. And it just, like, I don't know. It's really, like, it's really, really triggering. But it just... I've been, like, really happy in life. But, like, this is something that, like, again, I just, <laughs> they would ask my fiance, like, I'm up at 3 o'clock in the morning. And I just get really, like, upset about it and nervous and, like, it's scary. Just... Why are you nervous, Shisha? Why are you nervous? I don't know what to do. There's nothing I can say to make this right because I'm not sorry. They talk shit about me. He admits it. They talk shit about me and it was shitty and I'm allowed to say it's shitty and I'm allowed to say that his customer service wasn't great because he didn't tell me the total until after I got back to Vegas after telling me everything was taken care of. (laughs) This is so stupid and it's so scary and it's just like, fuck, I'm just fucked either way. All right, so here's the thing. We don't feel bad for Trisha. Well, actually, I shouldn't say we as if, like, collectively y'all agree with everything that I'm saying. But Trisha is a troll. And I... Here's the thing. Her feelings are valid. And I... That's the one thing is, like, I'm not going to take away from her feelings. Her feelings are valid. However, how am I supposed to feel bad for somebody who... People have constantly told her over and over and over again, like, hey, don't do that because this person's feelings are valid. What are we supposed to make of that? And it's not like, oh, two two wrongs make a right, but I can't feel sorry for her. I cannot feel sorry for her because of the things that she's done time and time and time and time again. It's a pattern. It's a pattern of behavior. Like I said, I don't really talk about Trisha because she's a troll. She's a troll. But this point in time, I don't think she's trolling because she's proving the things that people have been saying about Jeffrey. Jeffrey is not a troll. Jeffrey is a sorry excuse for a human being. That's what Jeffrey is. And people have said it time and time and time and time again. But for some reason, he continues to rise and to win. Even Tab, the one that she's talking about where she was like, he has the DMs and his video was, first of all, that video is not gone. That video is not gone. So you can see the video. You can watch the video of this man who owes nothing to anybody who's talking about how crappy of a person Jeffree Star is. But people will still be like, well, how do we know he said it? Well, let's look at a lot of the things that he said. Let's look at how he treats people on a regular basis. Trisha has nothing to lose from this. She has a lot to gain. She has a lot to gain. I'm talking about it. She has a lot to gain from it. She has nothing to lose from it. But I don't feel bad for her because 
she was friends with him she enabled jeffree star that's why when people be you know like when people say oh my god like i i used to support jeffree star and i have his makeup and blah 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 i do not feel bad for you i don't feel bad for you because it's been shown time and time again what kind of person he is he's been this way since his myspace days when people talk about Jeffree Star, they're not talking about him because like, wh what does that person have to lose? Nothing. But y'all still allow Jeffree to win. And again, like here I am talking about him, but I think it's best like if nobody's going to talk bad about him, like I, I feel at least one person should. And, I, and I'm ready for the hate and I've been ready for the hate and I've been getting the hate for over three years now. I don't care. I don't care because he's not a good person. And at this point, if you support him, just, just, just say that you support evil. Just say you support racism and, and, and move on with your life. Or... Just say you can support the art from the artist. But the thing is, is like at this point, you're choosing evil. You just refuse to see. And like, I, I, I try to see the good in people. But when people show you who they are, believe them. And when, oh, this is pretty. And believing in people, like at this point, I, I don't feel bad for you once they do you dirty. Because there's been so many people who have been like, well, Jeffrey's been nothing but nice to me. And then the minute you try to criticize him on something and then he blocks you, people be like, how could he do this to me? Girl, we've been told you this. Ain't nobody hating. Jeffree Star is the Donald Trump of the beauty community. At this point, you are choosing violence. So this is what's happening. Trisha, baby girl, we don't feel sorry for you. We do not feel sorry for you. However, thank you for speaking out, I guess, 45 years later. But why did it take you this long? Why did it take for the, that hairdresser Jay to say something that directly affected you to be like, Jeffrey was so mean to me. Tab came out with a whole video and said Jeffrey was talking about you and you still were like but he's my friend no friend of yours talks about your skin talks about your weight smacks your hand and says don't eat that fatty that's not a friend but people will still to this day defend Jeffrey they will still defend Jeffrey because I'm like well I didn't see it happen show me the video show me the proof girl 177,000 people done said something about Jeffrey and you still want to be like, well, take your L and move on. Like there's nothing wrong with taking an L. There is nothing wrong with taking a loss. You ain't never lost a game in your life. You ain't never lost a game in your life. This is the hill that you choose to die on. But whatever, y'all, go ahead. Keep, keep supporting him. Keep supporting him. Y'all feeling it's going to be real hurt real hurt but it is what it is so anyways that is my video for today if you guys liked it make sure you give it a big thumbs up that helps me out a lot also do not forget to link up with me on my social media all that information will be down below in the description box and until my next video i'll see you guys later bye